Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Good morning, if you're here this early. Um, first of all, 2K out here making moves early in the morning. But guess what? I don't sleep. So I'm out here dropping these reactions for you guys. What I want to tell you is this is a LeBron James trailer. Um, first off, you will not see any NBA 2K19 gameplay in this trailer. This is more of a, you know, let's get the news popping. It's, it's about that time again. You know what I'm saying? And they basically pushing LeBron James at this point. But, you know, I'm, I want to react to it. I haven't seen it just yet. So I'm about to see it with you guys. So hopefully, you know, we both have somewhat the same reactions. And then we'll talk about the trailer afterwards as well as what to expect with pre-ordering the game if you should pre-order the game you know i'll give you guys my thoughts and you know we'll just generally talk about everything so let's go ahead and hop into it All right, so hold up. We we gonna have to run this back. I I got a couple hot takes. So as far as the the young kid, you know, bouncing his ball and everything like that, that should have been little Bronny, dog. That should have been Bronny, dog. Like I ain't gonna lie, it should have been Bronny. Maybe you know they want to go in a different direction, but that should have been Bronny, dog. Like you know what I'm saying, cut Bronny to check. Maybe Bronny would have cost too much. You know what I'm saying, or something like that. Maybe you know. He ain't want to sign off on that like that. I don't know, but that should have been Bronny. But uh, let's let's run it back, man. I wanna I wanna I'm gonna watch it one more time. But this time we are gonna stop it at parts that I actually notice real quick. All right. So I noticed that that was him in high school days. All right, Pete though, Pete the yo remember the Dreamcast? Do anybody remember that joint, bro? Don't nobody remember trying to hit that free throw back in the day, dog. All right, the three three zero. That's where we're from. Yo, I swear to God, I thought I just seen my my player. That might have been two K fourteen. That might have been two K fourteen. Ooh, hold up though, hold up though. What's that though? Let me see. That might, this look like all different types of 2Ks plus in real life stuff right here. Yeah, that look like 2K14 right there. That picture right there look like 2K14. This look like, this might look like 2K17 or 18 right here. That's real life. All right, I'm just trying to get everything to down. Now, what's this right here, bro? Now, all this... This look like a dev office, yo. I'm dead serious. This look like a dev working on a game. Now this might this might be like a little inside scoop right here, man. All these all that all this going on from this overhead shot. You know what I'm saying? Look at the late nights, you know what I'm saying? With the with the uh the Chinese food, all the computers, hard drives and data, servers, all of these old computers. What's the, what's on this screen right here, man? You know what I'm saying? Code, CDs, discs. I don't know. Is this a dev's office? If it is, we got to do better. <laughs> oh, hold up. Let me see. Oh, all right. So these is this is stats and stuff right here. Rebounds, assists. Uh, okay. Usage rate. Oh, hold up. Involvement rate. What? Hold on now. What's what's all this? This might be some stuff. Goat though on the keyboard. Hi K. Alright, this whole they will know your name thing. Let's break that down for a moment. So 
2K, you gave us a game one year that allowed us to play throughout high school a few games and through college a few games. So if you bring this back, don't say that this is all brand spanking new. Don't try to, you know, put the wool over everybody's eyes. You've done this before. So don't say that this is about to be the new campaign and, you know, stuff like that. No, bro. You did this before. Just make sure when we plan at high school and, and stuff like that. Either if they're going to be created by 2K, make them, you know, a little bit more general. Maybe make our storyline a little bit different. Maybe let us choose our storyline because... I'm going to tell you now, man, I don't want to see Be Fresh again. I'm going to go ahead and point that out. I don't want to be a, a DJ that became a baller again. You know what I'm saying? Frequency vibrations. I mean, the whole mom and pop story, sister being your manager, like the Spike Lee joint, that that might be like top three storylines for 2K my career. All right, guys, now that I'm at the uh, homepage for the 2K store, so basically... Uh, they still have the whole NBA 2K18 layout, uh, and that's most likely because they haven't upgraded the whole site yet. But basically, this is the cover for NBA 2K19 Standard Edition. I don't believe there will be a cover athlete for that cover. It says, NBA 2K celebrates 20 years of redefining what sports gaming can be, from best-in-class in graphics and gameplay to groundbreaking game modes and an immersive open-world neighborhood. Neighborhood has only come out for one year, yet that is like the like centerpiece of, I guess, where they want to go. Now, for years, we've all been talking about how we wanted something where we can chill with our friends and, and stuff like that and do other stuff than just play basketball. They went from riding bikes. They went to riding skateboards. Hopefully, in the next neighborhood, we could travel in cars. Because I remember 2K a couple years ago, used to sit in a car between cutscenes, Like, yo, driving to the arena. Stuff like that. So, hopefully, if they bring cars, maybe we can, you know, customize a car or whatever the case may be. I don't want to dive too much into that. I'll probably make a, a separate video for that. But NBA 2K19 continues to push the limits as it brings gaming one step closer to real-life basketball excitement and culture. When you say excitement, cool, crowd go crazy, the way fandoms are, but culture... Culture is really big, so what will they then do? Like, if we get injured and stuff like that, will we go to games and chains and suits and stuff like that? Like, will we have fans run up to us in the neighborhood wanting to sign our autographs and stuff like that? Not just a cut scene when you got to do a Nike commercial for your shoe and then you go in the store and buy everybody something, but on a, on a daily, as your fans are going up, maybe one person in that neighborhood, one AI, will walk up to you and say, hey, can I have your autograph? And you sign the paper and, you know, you, you give them a dap or whatever to the point where LeBron was running down the street with a bunch of fans. Can you run down the street on a jog through your neighborhood and AI will be running behind you like LeBron was? That's that's what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? When you want to introduce this neighborhood thing, I don't want to see people online in my cutscenes. If it's my neighborhood, it's my neighborhood. If I don't want nobody online, I just want all AI in my neighborhood, get at the me. Don't have, uh, I'm going to drop you off 6969 PSN up in my my court while I got a cutscene going on with Be Fresh in them. I hated that. You know what I'm saying? I hated having cutscenes and other users being in my cutscenes. Heck no, bro. Get that out of here. But, um... Pre-order 2K19, you receive 5 KVC, 10 My Team packs, deliver once a week or one a week and more. Now, they have two different editions. They got the standard edition. You get a cover athlete, Sapphire, and My Team card. Now, for the LeBron John, this is the 20th anniversary edition. Whole different cover. Everybody's going to get this piece. I mean, this is right here nostalgic, but everybody's going to have this cover. Um, You get 100 KVC, which I feel like... This price point, I don't know. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Let me see. Let me let me let me click buy now real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me click buy now. We'll talk about the price in a second. But uh, 100 KVC, 5,000 my team points, 20 my team like a league packs, 10 my team packs, five LeBron theme murals for my court, LeBron my court design, Kings collection, Nike LeBron apparel and footwear, 25 pairs, and they put a little exclamation part 
like we don't know how many shoes LeBron got out here, you know what I'm saying, circulating through the world. Now, physical items, you get a poster, a sticker sheet, and a wristband. Wristband is lit. All right, guys, so I'm I'm on the PlayStation Store right now. This is the digital bundle. Now, peep this. I think 2K is coming around. I think 2K is starting to realize that making people spend so much money is really a slap in the face. This copy is only $99. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, bro, that's an extra 40 on top. But what I want to say is, if you get 100K VC for 40, right? Like, let, let's just say 100K VC is like where we want to be. Like, okay, 100K VC, bet. Okay, let's check out the prices for NBA 2K18, how much 100K VC probably costs, maybe in the beginning of the year. Then you have to say, if you don't sign a Nike contract, are you going to be able to wear all them Nike LeBrons out in the park and stuff like that? Because remember, when Kobe dropped his joint, we was able to wear all them Kobe's. But other people want to sign with Jordan and all that stuff. And we didn't get penalized for wearing those sneakers on the court. But if we don't sign with Nike, are we still going to be able to wear these LeBrons out and about and not get hit and get our get that call from Brian talking about, yo, your deal is done. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is $100, that sounds fair. But I feel like 250k VC would have sufficed. And the reason why I say that is, if you have 25 pair of LeBrons, why not have 250k VC? You know what I'm saying? Match the 25. You know what I'm saying? Match that 2-5 right there. Have people like open their eyes and say, you know what? Maybe I can get my player up. Now, one thing, one thing, since they don't have a bunch of virtual currency. What is it going to be like to upgrade our player this year? How much VC will it cost? Now, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. I don't think 2K is a, a company that's going to lower prices. But will they then implement something different to upgrade players that makes it cost less? I don't know. But listen, I got more info for you guys. I'm going to drop a top five things 2K19 will need to succeed video soon. I'm going to be dropping more news. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Make sure you guys turn on notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.